Both of these cars are 2006. We'll review both of them pretty in depth and go through all the quirks and features. Quirks and features. Ferrari has 390 horsepower and the Ford GT has 550, right? That low? Yeah, 390. Supercharged. And the Ferrari is not supercharged. So what's the size of this engine? Do you know what it is? Is it a 4.4 liter? Uh, it's a 4.3. 4.3 That's what F4, the 30 stands go. for, so. Well, that would make sense. Yeah. It does make sense. It's like a 5.4 liter, but it's supercharged. The Ferrari's a F430 and the one before it was the 360 and they didn't change much for the F430. The success from the 360 translated to the 430. This is Nick and Drew from, Drew. from the Midwest Dream Car. Nick. Nick. From the Midwest Dream Car Collection. We are back again to give you an in-depth tour of the Ferrari 430 and the 2006 Ford GT. How Guess old were you in 2006? <laughs> I was like 10. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good deal. Can we run them? Sure, you can run them. I think this one sounds way better. Yeah, I think so too. And this one has a F1 style clutch, so it's like first gear, second gear, or paddle shift. Paddle shift. If this one was a manual, it would make it worth about the same price as the Ford GT. Really? So over two hundred fifty thousand dollars if it was a manual. Manual supercars are definitely the way to go. I think the pedal shifter is more fun. I do too. I like the pedal shift a lot, but oh, but I do like the I like the Ford GT a lot because it's manual. It's kind of fun. You feel like you're doing something with the car, but I guess if you're lazy, you can just put it in auto mode. Yeah, you can. I like the steering wheel, and that's way better too. Yeah, the steering wheel has a lot of stuff on it. It's got the Manatino switch kind of changes your drive mode into race, sport, wet mode, and then snow mode. Ooh, we should try the snow. Traction control off. Um, and then it's also got the horns up here. So, pretty neat. And it has a center indicator so you know when you're driving straight. <laughs> that is good. It's got a lot of carbon on it too. Yeah. Carbon paddles. This is carbon the dash. carbon edition, I think, Ferrari. So carbon this console. The this was this is kind of a weird console because it's got a this space in the middle. There's the, really nothing there. It's for the car seats. Is it? For the kids' car seats, yeah. Really? I don't know. Probably not. They probably wouldn't fit. Yeah, probably not. You leave them at home in your minivan. But not outside.
slowly but surely. What's in there? A lot of nothing. Oh, that's dirty. Oh. Somebody should clean that. Me? I probably will end up doing it. We got lumbar support. Manual lumbar support. Manual is all you really got because, I mean, look at this uh -oh. sound system. It's kind of a... The radio is locked because the battery was disconnected, so we have to put the code in. Oh. I do know the code. I figured it out. What is it? I don't remember. I wrote it down. 1111? No. Well, everything's pretty analog in this car, even the dash. Nifty leather. <clears throat> The radio code is in here somewhere. I don't know. It's still somewhere. Here's a Ferrari book. Ooh. Fancy, fancy. Oh, Caro Zaria Scaglietti. Pretty neat. Ooh, and the 430 Spider. So this is a Spider version because it has no top. And uh, we bought this in what? In Oklahoma City, and then I drove it back that day. So <laughs> that's how the car got here. In a rainstorm. In a rainstorm, yes. Without and it a was license cold. plate. It was cold that day. It was like February or something, and uh, and it was no license plate, and I was afraid I was going to get pulled over. Pretty much the whole time I was driving back. So. Oh, and we even have a pen holder. Good for your pens. And then there's also this. This is the airbag off button. To turn the airbag off, you just insert the key. It's pretty much in the door sill. And they didn't want to disrupt the dash with anything like that, I guess. Because it's a Ferrari and it's a luxury car. It's more of a exotic car than a luxury car. It is was an exotic car. Ooh, and we have a half tank of gas right now. We could take this out and uh, go to McDonald's. If you want McDonald's. I don't want McDonald's. Okay. The smoking package? It is the smoking package. Because in 2006, people smoked. People did fun. smoke. Let's see if it's been used. Ooh. Looks like a virgin to me. <laughs> and a manual or a handbrake. Yeah, that's for for get, drifting. Yeah, drifting sideways around tight corners. And then here's the speakers. I was informed by a fellow coworker that took the car out driving around town, joyriding. A lot of complaints about this car. Yeah. When we were driving back from Oklahoma City, I had to leave the key in to unlock the gas cap, too. Ooh. Here's its blankie. What do they call that, a car cover? That's a car cover. Nice red Ferrari car cover, look at that. That is nice. So I need smart. one of those for my car. I'll be like Joey with his Porsche and yes. friends. <laughs> but you'll have a car and not cardboard box. Yeah, yeah, I will have a car. And this, what's in it's here? An air compressor. Oh, air compressor. On the tool kit with a new belt. The belts always break on these things. There's your color. Giallo Modena. I guess we could get in it too. Watch your head. A little different cockpit. It is a lot different Still than the Still got the bumps Ferrari. between the seats. It does have the speaker back there. And it has a Macintosh sound system which is pretty much what you got in every, I think, was it the 80s they made the Macintosh radio? I don't know.
straight out of a regular old 2006 Ford Focus or something. That's the windshield wiper and this is the turn signal. I like the Ferrari. I like the Ferrari better than the Really? I do. I think I like the Ferrari more too. Supercars are more my taste and manual supercars are apparently getting more expensive now. Cause uh, Tyler Hoover told me to say that, but I think he just told me to say it because uh, because he just bought a manual Gallardo. So I think he just wants his, yeah, I think he just wants it to go up in price. But I guess. Race inspired switches supposed to look like toggle switches for a race car. Yeah, from the 60s, right? Matches the 60s cars. Cool. The thing about this car is the roof, the roof on the doors. So you kind of got to look out for that and watch your head when you shut the doors. If you're tall gonna hit your head my head yeah man Tom, I feel my hair touching it Tom Wassenberg just got in it the other day yeah he's and tall his yeah his head was touching the ceiling yeah the roof on the doors yeah, See what I'm Tom being so tall yeah so when I'm driving this I'm yeah, it'd be <laughs> harder for him shit yeah his head was touching the ceiling yeah he has to slouch down when he drives yeah yeah, I guess This does. is a car for small people. It is. It's not very baby friendly in here either. No kids car seat area. Hmm. Leave my home. <laughs> Probably the... Not unattended. Looks cool. I like the start buttons. This I like was those the too. start button before start buttons were cool. Yeah. Everything has start buttons now or keyless start. The this thing was, about this is this it's got a cool before it was cool. It's got a supercharger from like a Ford truck, I think. Basically. Right? Similar engine to like the lightnings would have had. Yeah. Except this one makes a lot more power than a lightning. Yeah, it does. And they're hand built and the engine builder signed the valve cover. It's got the more aerodynamic. And the steering feel, anyway. I like the steering wheel in this, but I like that one better. This yeah. One, this one. That one feels small. Feels, it is small. It's like 13 inch steering wheel. Yeah, that is pretty small. Does that have a horn too? It does. Right in the center where it should be. Yeah. That's how Americans build cars. <laughs> Americans. Americans. And uh, the AC works pretty good in here. It does work pretty good. The one in the Ferrari does not work as well. Um, I could probably low on refrigerant, oh. but in a Spider, you're driving with the top down anyway. Yeah. This is and not. Here's the AC controls mm -hmm. and the fan speed. And uh, this is the direction the fans are blowing out. And it's on recirculate, and it's nice. It is pretty nice in here. The these blow out some good air. Drew, why don't you show them how you pop the frunk on this? So to open these doors, you've got to be careful of the car next to you. And that is not a big storage compartment at all. You can't, you can fit way more in the Ferrari than this. It's way more practical for carrying your groceries. It is. If you want to go pick up some groceries in a supercar, Ferrari's the way to go. Compressor also, super tow hook in case you get broke down and they have to pull you somewhere. In case you hit a big bird or pack of wolves or something. Yeah, good point. <laughs> And it's got uh, some racing stripes down the center. 
and they continue on to the back of the car and they go over the top too. The whole car is over the top. Over the top car. We should open the back real quick and show the engine. Since it is a mid-engine car. So this has 550 horsepower out of this V8 with a supercharger, 5.4 liter. And it's got a clear engine cover. So there's a tag over here. Hand built engine. Ford. Doug Campbell and Bill. Oh, shit. Really? Aftermarket exhaust. exhaust. That's why it sounds so good. I like the way it sounds. That sounds it's, like an exotic car. It that does. That sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, way more horsepower. Power. Dry sump. Dry sump? Dry sump reservoir. And a V8. Tucked way down in there. Yeah, it is uh, It is in front of the back axle. And that's, I guess that's why they call it mid-engine. Is It's in the middle of the car. Someone was telling me that it's mid-engine because it has com a storage compartment behind the engine, even if it's small. There's no storage there though. There is no storage on this. There's and no I storage think it, on this either. Yeah. Air cleaners. And exhaust. Look how big the muffler is on that car. Yeah, it is. That's why this car is so quiet. Because the muffler oh, is the yeah. size of the gas tank. <laughs> Stand out caliber. So yeah, they, they make red rooms. ones too. They make what? Red ones. It should have had red ones. Yeah, red ones would be nice. And that's kind of an option that you can add to every Ford GT was the red brake calipers and the stripes. Those stripes, the yeah. And these are aftermarket white powder coated black. And then this has aftermarket uh light covers black to match the black wheels and the black exhaust aftermarket tailpipes which is neat and the whole interior of this Perfect. engine bay is carbon fiber which is nice I it's got a lot of carbon air cleaner so when the when the 4 gt was new it was worth 150,000. that's right and now it's worth well over 300,000, so gone up in value for sure. Um, I don't think these are going for more than 120 from what I've seen. A lot, I think a lot of people buy these spiders. I was like the mirrors in these. Yeah, I always like those too. Two pretty cool cars. You'd, you'd have the Ferrari? I'd take the Ferrari in a heartbeat. Really? I think I would it might too. Be slower, but I think it's way cooler. Yeah, I think it's I think it's cooler, and it's an Italian car. You can haul a lot more groceries than a Ferrari. Yeah, you can. Ford GT. A good point. Do you have a, a new Ford GT on the way, which is good news. He said it's a 2020 car, so obviously Probably next year it'll. Next year. Yeah, it'll have to get here sometime. And they're way more powerful, aren't they? 800 horse? Yeah, I think something like that. Twin turbo V6? Yeah. It's got a Ford EcoBoost engine. No EcoBoost in this one. And it's got a 100 in the headlights to stand for Ford's 100 years of making cars. One, zero, zero. I never noticed that before. Hey, that's why they put it there, was 100 years of making cars the american way it was an affordable supercar when it came out it was yes just they have high demand good Everybody point yeah there you go